have a busy but fun day planned for today and wanted to take you guys along to show you what goes on. I have a photo shoot later this afternoon and then a date night tonight and I will also be doing a little Q&A in between. It's time to wake up. I have a shoot in a couple hours but I wanted to get a little workout in before. I need to get back into routine. I'm going to the gym. I used to be really good but recently I just haven't been in a good routine so I'm trying to get back into it. Right now. And I hate in public. He's been waiting for me this whole time. Hi, babies. So earlier this week, I put a thing on my story asking you guys to ask me questions. I have to get ready for my shoot right now, but I'm going to answer those questions while I do my makeup. One of the questions I got a lot is how old are you? For some reason, I've seen a couple different things saying that I'm 30. I'm not really sure where that came from. I'm 22, but I'm about to be 23 in August and I hate birthdays, so I'd rather not think about that. What college did you go to and what did you study? I went to Chapman. I just graduated in May. I actually started off as like a health science pre-med major. My goal was to like be a dermatologist and that's what I thought I wanted to do. But then after like the first semester of actually doing the schoolwork, I was like, this is probably not for me. And I ended as a business major with an emphasis in entrepreneurship, which was like perfect for me because I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do. And business is like really general. So it's like a win-win situation. Did you ever play sports? Yes, I grew up playing competitive soccer. I started playing when I was four and then I stopped playing when I was like 18 years old. I did love it for a certain amount of time and then it kind of got to a point where I didn't like it as much. I was kind of just doing it because it's really like the only thing I knew. Yeah, I don't miss it. What is your skincare secret? I don't really have a skincare secret. One product that I absolutely love right now is tretinoin. It has to be prescribed, but the reason that I got it prescribed was because I would have these white bumps all over my face. It ended up being baby cysts that were in my skin and it has helped so much, but I feel like that's my skincare secret. Other than that, I don't really use anything that's like that crazy. What is your favorite comfort food? I can actually like live off bagels. Bagels with cream cheese is my go-to. It's the best combination. How is the modeling life? I was with an agency for a year and it was honestly an awful experience. My contract ended with them in March. I kind of just took a break for a little bit, made me not want to do it anymore. Now I'm starting to get back into the mix of things, rebuild my book and then try it again because honestly that experience was awful. What do you think the best way to be healthy is? Personally, for me, I have been living by the 80-20 rule. It's honestly just something that works for me. 80% of the week, you eat healthy, you make healthy choices, you do healthy activities. And then the other 20%, you kind of indulge in the things that you typically wouldn't. If you set super strict rules for yourself, you're most likely not to follow them. So that's why I feel like the 80-20 rule is so good. Advice for a single person looking for the right person. Honestly, I feel like my best advice for this one is don't look for the person. I feel like the best relationships are when they come naturally and they're not forced and it's very unexpected. What is your biggest regret? There's definitely things that I wish I did differently, but now that the time has passed, everything that I considered a regret has taught me so much. So it's kind of shaped me into the person that I am now. One of my regrets that are not really regrets anymore is being in the relationship that I was in in high school. It was my first relationship, so obviously it probably wasn't the best. But from that, I learned so much what I look for in other relationships, and I believe that's like the why, the reason I'm with Ben now. How many kids do you want? That's easy for me. I want two and I want them to be boys. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm supposed to be a boy mom. What made you want to start a YouTube? I've been meaning to start a YouTube for a while. I just really wasn't sure what I would be talking about. I've always like really loved creating. Even in high school, when I had no intentions of doing what I do now, I would just make videos for fun of like what I was doing. Being able to create something that's like inspiring is really cool to me. Another question that I got a lot, as you can imagine, is 
how did you and Ben meet? We met at his warehouse. He was having a little warehouse party and my friend and I ended up going to that party. And again, zero expectations of what would happen. Both of us weren't really like planning on being in a relationship and it kind of just happened. The first night we met, we were both pretty shy. So it's kind of funny how shy we were and like how close we are now. And ever since, the rest is history. Okay, this is the final look. I have to go to my shoot now and I have to do my hair. So that's all for now. All right, I'm headed to my shoot. So they were doing like an outdoor vibe in Malibu, which is like an hour and 37 minutes away. That's kind of far, but it's so worth it. This is my favorite photographer. She just has a really pretty, like elegant vibe to her photos. And that's what I'm going for, so. hours to get back from Malibu but I'm back. Last week was our two and a half year anniversary. We just got super busy and weren't able to celebrate so tonight we're gonna do a little date night in honor of that. We're going to our favorite dinner spot and then we're gonna take it to the beach and watch sunset. Are you gonna swim? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Got the food. Yay.